Well, we are just about a month away from the start of Old Man Winter, and you know what that means, cold and flu season. I think it's already started, I actually. think you're right. <laughs> I know a few people that have it themselves. Well, different medicines that we take can get to be extremely expensive, and some of them have some nasty side effects. But did you know it doesn't have to be that way? There are a few natural remedies that you can try to help you beat that cold. Sniffling, sneezing, and the dreaded... <laughs> all symptoms that could be taken care of naturally. First, try munching on a few of these. Avocados help balance your adrenal glands, which are responsible for releasing hormones that keep your body balanced. Also, try a little ginger, which can help your stomach and lungs. It helps break down and remove toxins in your digestive and respiratory systems. These toxins can make you more open to infections. Another natural remedy, honey. Studies have shown one teaspoon of honey can reduce cough severity and frequency better than many common medicines. But beware, you should never give honey to a child under the age of one. No. Okay, also, did you know things like sage extract can help you boost your immunity as well? And experts say you may also want to consider this plant called graviola. Hmm. It's been shown to protect against fevers, colds, and they've even discovered some cancer-fighting agents in wow, it. Wow, I'm going to have to look for some of that. No kidding. Graviola. I hadn't heard of it before. You know, and, and I, I'm going to look for some of that stuff because I, I become a zombie when I take any kind of cold yes. medicine. Even the daytime stuff, zombie. So, got to be a different way. Well, no matter, no matter how hard you try, there are still those colds that you just can't seem to shake off. And when those colds come, you probably visit the doctor or go to the store for medicine. But a company here on Delmarva says there are ways to prevent getting sick or shorten the duration if it hits, especially for our children. Brian Spiros went to Tech World Corporation in Milford to find out how. When it comes to getting sick this time of year, you can run, but you can't hide. We have cold and flu season, and we know that both cold and flu are caused by viruses. And that's going to happen. It's going to be about three times for every person in America or a billion colds every year. Martin Uniak is the vice president of sales for Tech World Corporation Incorporated in Milford, a company that was co-founded by Dr. James Liu, who specializes in the study of infectious diseases. This stuff is going out today. We're looking at this by the end of the week. He's focused his attention on developing products that he says can help possibly prevent and treat the common cold. And he saw a real gap in the market long before anyone here heard of a neti pot. He saw that this natural kind of traditional, you know, homeopathic you know, way of naturally cleaning out your sinuses was superior than waiting for the inevitable, waiting to have a cold and going and putting a drug into your body. Martin explains that much of Dr. Liu's research has focused on the root cause of what makes us sick, our nasal passage, which Martin says led to the development of a homeopathic product known as Dr. Healing. So this is an over-the-counter medicine. It's not a drug. It's not a pharmaceutical. And we're engaging in an ancient practice, you know, that, that is using saline solution to clean out your nasal passages, your sinuses, and the back of your throat. Over millions of years of evolution, viruses have found a way to live in our sinus passages. This is where infection starts. Martin adds that rinsing your nasal passage on a daily basis won't prevent the cold and flu, but will make you less susceptible and can minimize the duration of your cold if you do become sick. There's no side effects to salt water. It's, salt, it's a saline solution. It's aloe and citric acid. It's everything you've always been told is good for you. There is absolutely no problem to use this product every day. How many of these do you do a day? The saline is made right in Milford and then packaged with this squeezable bottle which helps cleanse your nasal passage. There are even oral sprays that help your throat. And this isn't just for adults. Dr. Lou has also developed products that help children as well. All right, so we're talking about the kids and we have some of the products here. The first one is this nasal rinse starter kit. Explain how a parent would use this on their child. Right, well, it's a smaller bottle because we have less uh, volume with a child. We're going to take the saline solution, put it in, and add hot water. We'll shake it up. And with most hygiene with children, you know, you're going to help them at first, get them to understand a few squeezes, clean it in, clean it out, you're done. And obviously the parent wants to help them because until they're old enough to do it on their own, they may need a little bit of training with Just it. Just like brushing teeth, flossing, there's that, that period where you help and the period where they become independent. All right, and the other thing we have here is this mucus extractor. Tell us about this. Well, I've had three children, Brian, and, and there's always that battle when they're infants. If they have a runny nose, you want to get it out of there. This technology is great. It's very surgical. It's, it always is pulling mucus away, and when you're all done, it comes apart for easy cleaning.
Martin says using saline spray can also help both kids and adults who suffer from asthma. So certainly someone with asthma does not want to get a cold because that, that, that can exacerbate their condition and then trigger an asthma attack. So if you have a, a routine that you can engage in that will, that will clean out your nasal passages, your sinuses, and the back of your throat, get rid of viruses, allergens, and dander and things like that, that's going to reduce your, the likelihood of you having an asthma attack. Case in point, a little bit of prevention for you and your family can quite possibly go a long way. And Dr. Liu told Brian how often people should be using the saline solution. If you want to use the Dr. Healing saline solution for preventative measures, use it once a day. Dr. Liu says particularly after dinner. However, if you're sick, you can use the saline spray three to four times a day. And if you'd like more information on the Dr. Healing products, including the different types and where you can buy them, go to delmarvalife.com. Now, have you ever done the, the, the neti pot no. thing? No. See, I have it. Yeah. And Carol swears by it. My wife really? swears by it. She, she does it, she loves it, says it clears everything, it helps her asthma. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a mental thing with me of and water, water into in my nose, nose and, yeah. and back out again. So I, Brian did it right here. So yeah. it was great. Yeah, yeah. Brian said it was it was fine. So it's a good thing. I just got to get past it. Yeah. Just got to get past it. <laughs> All right. From taking care of your health to taking care of your home, if you have a furnace, you want to make sure it's ready to keep you warm. Well, Brian's got some information that you should keep in mind. Brian? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, we're going to fill you in on what could be wrong with your furnace if it's not working properly. We're going to talk efficiency plus what you should be looking for. If you're in the market to buy a new furnace, we'll explain when we come back. And while we're talking about your home, maybe you're getting ready to decorate it for the holidays, but you want a fresh look. A little later, we'll help you get it. And how would you like it if we helped you with your shopping? How about a free gift card? We have two winners today, and here in just a little bit, we're going to find out if you're one of the winners. But first, we just learned steps to, to take to try to stay healthy. If you do end up at the doctor's office, Dr. Oz helps us be a smart patient. You have to take control of your own health care. And you can, here's how. First, get a complete rundown on your family's medical history. Know the age relative to succumb to diseases and whether a genetic or lifestyle factor such as heavy drinking or smoking was likely involved. This is also a great way to catch up on all the family gossip under the guise of medical research. Next, find Dr. Wright. Ask people you trust or search reputable websites like the American Medical Association and update your medical files at home so you'll be able to find any information new doctors might require. Also inquire about prescriptions, why, when, and how you need to take them. Tell your doctor and pharmacist all about your medications to avoid adverse drug reactions. Remember, you gotta be a smart patient, chip it and help. 